there is no excuse whatsoever for not getting at what it is that you should be doing. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have something to stimulate your brain, if you don't have something that keeps you sharp and focused, if you don't have challenges, you won't stay alive. I don't care how old you are. I don't care who you are. You need a dream. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you work your system, that you are relentless, that you never give up. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard, but you've got to say, I'm the one, I'm the one to make this happen. If you actually want something, you can have it. And maybe all you have to do to get it is ask, but the asking isn't a whim or, or today's wish. It's like, you have to be deadly serious about it. It won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up, dig in, line up those problems and confront them, face them, fight them. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that. You have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. And we've all been through disappointments and setbacks. And life happens. But instead of remembering the hurt, the pain, what didn't work out, the key to reaching your destiny is you have to remember your dream. If you want to go from ordinary to extraordinary, number one, you're going to need a little extra effort just a little extra effort. You're just gonna to have to do a little bit more. Complaining has no value. And if you complain about not having enough money, work more. It's super simple. Let your actions dictate instead of sitting there and feeling like you're not in control. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Those annoyings I should, those things that you keep thinking about, you keep thinking about them because you're supposed to do something about it. I'm telling you, anytime you want to, you can say, I'm gonna change my attitude, I'm gonna change my abilities, I'm gonna do more than I've ever done before. Take on that as your God-given right as a human being to change your life to whatever degree you want it to change. So the question is, what are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you have money. Some of you have patience. Some of you have kindness. Some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is. What are you going to do with what you have? You get to redesign. You are your Michelangelo. You are your greatest sculpture. And you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. You're not sentenced to this life this way. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream. The pen has always been in your hand that no one else can write your story.
but you. Brings me